Hello, my name is Slosh and I'm going to do a video showing you how to add metadata to old products that don't have any, such as products for M4, V4, ICO3, all the old products that currently don't have metadata on them. In this example, I'm going to use Michael 4, which I've already preloaded into the scene so that you don't have to wait for him to load. And we're going to put his styling for M4 outfit on. So I'm going to come up here to my poser formats and I keep all my clothing in a clothing folder rather than my library but yours will be different. Figures Stylin M4 and here are the five elements that make up the outfit. There's also a pair of sunglasses which we will be adding to the scene uh, before we proceed through all the steps. First thing I want to do, and the reason that I have Michael 4 loaded into the scene, is that I want to make sure that Daz Studio recognizes these five items for what they are. And what I mean by that is this. Let me load this v-neck sweater in. And you'll see if I right click and select the v-neck, over here in Smart Content it says No Selection. Daz Studio doesn't know that this is styling for M4 v-neck sweater. So we want to first establish all these clothing items for what they are before we try to assign metadata. So I'm going to load the rest of the items into the scene and you can either do them one at a time or highlight each one, right click and put merge into scene in which case they will all, eh, they're supposed to merge to Michael but, but I didn't have him selected so let me redo that. Take, I'm gonna just going to take all these clothes out, remove, make sure Michael's selected Go to Content Library, select all five, right click, merge into scene, and they will each fit themselves to Michael. And then I'm also going to come down here to Props and put his sunglasses on. So Props, style him for M4. There, that comprises his entire outfit now. Back in the Scene tab, I'll select all the clothing items there, and I'm going to have to open this up to Michael's head to get the sunglasses. Hold down the control key, that'll add it to it. Now I've got the sunglasses, both boots, both shirts, and the pants all selected. Come up to the submenu here and go down to edit, set default compatibility basis. And when you do that, this little window comes up and you can see it's blank because right now it's showing that none of these items are assigned to any kind of compatibility. Click this little ellipse on the side and you'll get a list of all the products that are installed in your system. And If I come down to the S's you'll see that Stylin for M4 is not in there. So come up to this little submenu, create a new root compatibility base and then type in Stylin or M4. Click OK and now you'll see it's there. If I select that and click Accept, you'll see it filled in now under Compatibility Root. Accept again, but what's happening? It still says no selection over here. That's because you need to deselect everything for a second and then as you select each one, Smart Content now knows that that's a v-neck and those are the pants and those are the sunglasses, etc. That's the first step. The next thing we want to do is come back down into the content library and since we already have the sunglasses showing we'll start with this one. Click this submenu, go down to content, DB editor. Yours won't have this logo here, I put that on myself so just select that out of the list and this window will pop up and you see sunglasses are listed there. I select them come down to type and that is a follower accessory head and once you get head you want to double click and now you can see it's been assigned follower accessory head next thing we'll do is come down it don't worry about this audience by the way this is a function a feature that uh, dad studio doesn't use yet so just leave it set it's usually set at teens just leave it there now in this Categories tab, select the sunglasses, right click, add root categories to selected files, and you see this huge list comes up. 
showing all the categories that are in your content library. This is a default accessories head and you can either just make it head, head ears, face, whatever. I just put it on head. And then now you can see it's it's assigned to default accessories head and we'll, I'll show you exactly what this means in a moment after we finish this step. Come over to compatibility, select the sunglasses, right click, add compatibilities to selected files. And what we're going to do is we want this to be compatible with Michael 4 so that anytime you have Michael 4 selected in the scene, these sunglasses will come up in the accessories list. So come up to Genesis 4, open up that little triangle and select Michael 4, click accept. And now you'll see it's compatible with Generation 4, Michael 4, accept. Now as soon as I did that, now I have an accessory flag on there so I know there's metadata. And what will happen is if I select Michael in the scene and then come over to Smart Content, Accessories, Head, there's the sunglasses. That's when we assigned it to it. Now we're going to do the same with his clothes here. So we'll come back to Content Library, go up to Figures, find Styling for M4. Again, there they are. Open the submenu, Content Database Editor. Now all five of these happen to be clothing items, so I'm going to set all five of them at once. So just select all of them, come down to Type, Follower, Wardrobe, and now you'll see they're all wardrobe items. Come down to Categories, and I'm going to select both of the boots first and do them first because they're both footwear. So select the boots, right click, Add root compatibilities, or excuse me, add root categories to selected files. Again, that huge list comes up. This is default wardrobe, and this is all alphabetical, so wardrobe is going to be at the end here. Default wardrobe footwear. Then this shirt and this v neck are both shirts, so I selected both of those. Right click, add root categories, default wardrobe shirts, and last but not least, the pants. Select it, right click, add root categories, default wardrobe pants. The next thing to do is make sure that these are all compatible with Michael 4. So we'll come over to the compatibility tab, select all five of them, right click, add compatibilities to selected files, and up here, generation 4, Michael 4, accept. Now, if I open these little triangles, you'll see each one has been made compatible with Michael 4. Click Accept and you're done. So actually now if I select Michael in the scene, which he already is selected, and then I come over here to uh, Wardrobe, Pants, and there they are. There's the pants. Shirts, both of the shirts are now listed in there. And Footwear, where did it go? Sometimes you might have to come down to an empty area, right click and hit refresh. Wardrobe, footwear, and there are the boots. And once again, in accessories, his glasses are still there. Along with my specs, by the way. Buy them, please. <laughs> anyway, that's assigning metadata to the clothing items. See now if we take them out of the scene, select Michael 4 it's still going to be there. Go down to wardrobe, pants, and there they are. Now what we want to do is assign metadata to the materials to go with all these clothing items. So in my poser content, I'll come down to pose, find styling M4, and here's all the materials that are available for this product. See how this one doesn't show the icon? Sometimes you just need to do a refresh and it'll come back. Anyway, once again, up here to Content Database Editor. Uh, these first two, Thighs Off and Thighs On, they apply to Michael's thighs. They'll actually turn them off so that there's no poke through when you have the jeans on. So we'll just start with those. Just select those two, come down to Type, Preset, Pose, double click on pose. For categories, 
select both of them right click add root categories as default poses by function and I'm going to put it under by function fits because it's for fitting clothing next you can select all the rest of them because they're all material files go down to type preset double click materials now they're all preset materials and for categories come down select all of them again right click add root categories that's the default material wardrobe default materials wardrobe then come to compatibility I'm going to select this over shirt and this over shirt right click add compatibilities and then I'm going to scroll down to the styling for M4 category excuse me for a second <coughs> sorry about that style in for M4 if you open up the little triangle next to it you'll see all the clothing items listed now so we'll choose the over shirt click accept unfortunately boot left and boot right are separate so we're going to click boot left add compatibilities boot left add compatibilities for boot right the jeans add compatibilities pants different name same item sunglasses with a logo sunglasses without a logo select both of them right click add compatibilities sunglasses and last but not least v-neck right click add compatibilities v-neck accept accept and you'll see now that there's poses and materials and it's actually all done they're categorized so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these clothes back on them so you can see them working let's come back over here to smart content make sure Michael's selected go down to wardrobe pants put those pants on him shirts we'll just put uh, the v-neck it says choose content to replace do not replace I'm not even sure why it's saying that and then the over shirt not sure why it's saying that but there we go and then I'm not going to do the boots you'll get the idea from this I'm sure so now if you come over here and you select the pants and then click on materials there's your pants materials better example would be the over shirt since it had two materials assigned to it and there they both appear same thing with sunglasses no logo or logo and there you have it that's it thanks for watching